that Anju and I will be in the Pacific Northwest at the Helium Comedy Club in Portland, May 23rd. And then on Friday, we will be going up to Seattle at the Hereafter, May 24th. So please get tickets. All the links are on our socials, on our regular socials and our pod socials. So see you there. Bye. You want to talk about this? Roast? Tom Brady roast? Yes. Let's. Okay. <laughs> So we watched the Netflix Tom Brady roast. It was, um, well, we didn't watch it. No. We watched all the comedians. comedians. Yes. I, we didn't care about the sports people. I didn't care about Bill Belichick or whatever. Belichick, the, yeah. Whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> Gronk. Yeah. Howdy ass. No, I didn't care about Gronk going up there and being like, I'm stupid. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I just wanted to see the comedians. Yes, yes. yes. <clears throat> and Kevin Hart opened. We barely watched his stuff. But yes. like, we get it. Yeah. Um. We get it. We get it. And then uh, Jeff Ross. We get it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on to the first comedian of the night. <laughs> Nikki Glazer. <laughs> I mean, Nikki set was fire, fire, fire. So good. From get. Just un like unrelenting. Boom, yes, we, boom, 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 boom. And, and, and that is actually the nature of good roast comedy. It needs to happen at a rhythm. Yeah. It needs to be like this. And, you know, when she was up there, I was realizing she really takes has taken the mantle from... Amy Schumer. I was going to say Joan Rivers. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Like, in terms of that sort of, like, pep fire, rapid fire, machine gun, like, yeah. just, like, joke, joke, joke. And then it's, like, the... the oh, 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 did it? I did it, did it, beat, 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 and then the final, and it being so incisive and cutting, not like kind of broad humor, yeah, or super cutting, because I don't know, was Schumer ever really? I, I don't, I don't know her from roast that. She was roast, yeah. She okay. started in roast, um, with uh, she also brought in Anthony Jeselnik, yes. who also famously is super roaster, yes, yeah, um, king of the. Pithy why didn't women. they have him? They had all the like Nef. Well, he's on Netflix too. I mm -hmm. thought that's weird. They had all their like favorite Netflix comedians. He's not one of them right now. He's not one of them. Yeah. Okay. Well, Nikki Glaser clearly no. Her thing is on HBO. Mm -hmm. Weird. Anyway, she's yeah. Speaking of goat, I think for me, like she won the night. Um, you think so? I think so. Okay. I think. I would think it's between her and Hinchcliffe. Yes. I think she, I liked hers more because Hinchcliffe's – some of the jokes were just kind of like, meh. Yeah, yeah. But some of them were killer. Yes. He had may maybe more killers and more stinkers. Uh -huh. But is this interesting to anyone? <laughs> 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 I mean, is this truly interesting to anyone? I hope so. I, I mean <laughs> – I'm like what, I'm I, like listening to myself talk. I'm like I'm. What am I doing? Like, I will also say, Peter. I don't think you've ever thought that before in any of our conversations in seven years. I know it's because we have three cameras up. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck are we doing? I'm like thinking about people watching. Okay, well, anyway, I thought she was like, she was the most. Um, I think maybe Tony's jokes were better. Okay. Funnier. Yeah. She was more consistently funny. Yeah, I mean, she has the polish of a professional. Yeah. Like a career comedian. Yeah. And by career, I mean um, something that's been over five years, you know, versus Tony, which is a he's a much younger comedian yeah, who's come yeah. up much more recently. She has the polish of like a star. Yeah. And she's he giving, was polished too. He was polished, but it was much more like gunslinger energy. Yeah, he had, like, he walked the room. Rocked the room and yeah. he's doing this and he was only peppering the comedians. He didn't He didn't shoot at any of the actual athletes. Athletes. Yeah. And he wasn't taking aim at what was happening in the industry or anything like that. He was doing comedy roast battle yeah. style yes. versus where she is a professional comedian. She yeah. did research. She got this. She knows about this. She's slicing this way. She's dicing this way. And she's pulling in things from not just the sports, but of the culture. She's talking about how she's a Swifty. I think that um, she even like degrades herself a lot in the comedy. So you are seeing her POV, mm -hmm. which is very much in that vein. And it's like hypersexual and mm -hmm. all those things. I mean, that's what I mean where um, she, for me, is taking the man from, from Joan Rivers in a way where 
I I really would be hard pressed. Like Kathy Griffin would be one, but I don't think Kathy would ever be in that space. Mm. Like I don't think she could do the sports and the mm-hmm. and be accepted in that way. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and it's because Nikki is also just more traditionally attractive maybe yeah just kind of like joan rivers I, you know she always made fun of her looks but i was like you are also to me beautiful beautiful yeah. you yeah, know yeah. and like traditionally attractive and uh yeah. thin and everything so um but yeah we were we'll say like i think the one of my, my biggest takeaways from this roast is we need to bring back regular teeth <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of the, fucked the, up veneers out there. We need to bring back. Who do we? Who do we call? How? Someone in Hollywood needs to stop. There needs to be a dentist brave enough to take a stand. Yeah, there say needs, no. To say no. Like there's, there needs to be um, a Martin Luther King Jr. of dentists who says, "I have a dream to stop grinding down teeth into tiny little points to make five hundred thousand dollars on every one of these sets and have teeth so big." Is that how much veneers are? I don't know. Oh my god, that's so crazy. I mean, there's. A, did you see that TikTok video of the? Do you know Jay? Um, oh my God, Jay Nadaj. No. That black creator, the uh, comedian on TikTok, Jay Jay Nadaj. Uh uh-uh. Okay, so does all these characters really funny? He got veneers. Veneers for free, because someone was like, "Hey, I'm a big fan. I'd love to get your teeth, t- do your teeth for free. Just like bless me on your millions of followers or whatever." Got the teeth done, and it's like a block of white and like no definition it's just like it look kind of like it looks like almost like play-doh and they <laughs> it looks crazy she's like oh my god and it's like crying <laughs> showing them that it was so fucked up and the person writes back saying like you didn't react like that in the chair you were like thank you man <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and now here you go getting on your fucking platform and dragging my ass and you can see the teeth are like fucked like I mean, they you do not chew, look and good you can't chew you no. can't eat. we need to t- we need to stop someone needs to take a stand and also to take free veneers is psycho it's crazy is psycho you know that person was struggling and was like this is how i'm gonna get famous. yes <laughs> Like, it's like, you know what I mean? That's like a, that's an online tutorial kind of veneer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a DI. You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. oh, I can YouTube it sort of situation. And it's not. No. Like, if you, you know, they did that in a fucking condo. This is what I'm saying. Yeah. This is like, I mean, um, yeah, this is someone who got a certificate in Turkey. <laughs> why is Turkey getting, uh, why is like, th- why are they giving out like the most fake stuff? Not fake stuff, but like hair transplants, mm-hmm. like the veneers as well. Yeah, why? Why is it so big there? I think there's a lot of educated like doctors. people, doctors mm-hmm. there, and like the exchange rate. And it's also not a free country. It's a there's a dictator there. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, I think that's kind of the situation. But what does that have to do with the beauty and like the plastic surgery of it all? Because I'm sure it's like the same thing in any industry, right? Someone knows somebody and then they're like, everyone gets involved. Mm, kind of how like Mexico became a place to go for like whatever, you know? You know? Else, yeah. yeah, for like some lifts. Like everyone goes there for this thing. And so like once you know, then they mm-hmm. create a sort of industry around it. Mm-hmm. I know. I'm seeing my like fellow men's yeah. losing hair. Yeah. And I got to say, I'm, I sympathize. Yeah. But I cannot empathize because. I've been blessed with such amazing, <laughs> but I see what's happening to them. And here's what, what I'm trying to figure out, like what that would be for me mm-hmm. to kill my ego like that. What would have to happen? Cause that's something that's happening to them. That won't happen to me. Thank yeah. God. And, uh, but I see what's happening to them. It's okay. not just a hair loss. You're it's loss of your identity. It's loss of your masculinity. It's it's like I would imagine like what a woman might feel like if they got like a mastectomy and started feeling like not like a woman or you know what I mean? Something like that where it's like it's You think your hair men's hair. Is this really? Oh. I maybe not your husband because yeah. he's a proud bald American? Yes. Yeah. He is. <laughs> he and the ego, honey. Yeah. <laughs> Your husband's really good about it. Like I mean, he like wears it well too. But he also came to terms with it because he started losing it when he was like twenty. And he will not go to Turkey. No, he will no. not. 
Even though I ask. I know. You beg. <laughs> you beg. But I see my friends, like especially high school friends and stuff, yeah. like losing their hair. And Asian men losing their hair is different. Why? Than whites or black? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't think that you have to shave your head if you start to lose your hair. Okay. And, and Asian men don't look good bald? No, some do. Yeah, we do the whole monk thing really well. Yeah, I think so too. You know what? With Asian men, you just can't be like bald. You have to put like six dots on your head. <laughs> <laughs> you have to contextualize it. <laughs> or like have a little bit of hair sticking Shut out of the top. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know those guys with the little... Yes. No, up? no. I mean, it's just like I'm saying that you can't be balding. You have to make that choice. Mm -hmm. You have to go bald, bald. You have okay. to shave your head. But why is it worse for Asian men, I'm asking? I think for when you're talking about like, um, yeah, I just think the hair looks worse because our hair is so thick. Mm. So when it starts to thin, like the thinness, like it looks worse versus just like with white people here. I think you can be like sort of soft and wispy like Donald trump -y. Oh. And because, you know, our hair is so coarser. Th coarser so it's like obviously yes. bald. Like black men that are balding, if it's like pattern here, not receding, mm -hmm. it looks rough. Okay, so the thicker your hair is, yes. the rougher it is. Because the way that it balds. balds and the way that your scalp shows through is like looks worse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, that's what made me really think about like what would have to happen to me to feel that same type of like energy of like shift of like who am I? Am I even a man? Yeah. Probably maybe like, but I was even thinking like balls, like losing my ball, you know, like, you know, like testicular sure. cancer, yeah, God yeah. forbid. Yeah. Something like that. But like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, my, none of my identity really, uh, for me, honestly, would be. I guess I don't hair. have, yeah, or masculinity in general. Yeah. For me. Yeah, and same thing with me with my femininity. Like, maybe my hair would be like. But that. you have good hair. You can't think of it that way. But if I you lost don't know the my plight hair, of. But like, I, I've had alopecia before. Oh, like birth induced or pregnancy yeah, induced? Yeah, no, and also like stress. When I was in my 20s, I had a huge patch here gone. Oh, okay. So, like, I mean, I definitely have this happened to me but like that would be my only thing like my breasts i don't i mean it's like they're you know what i mean <laughs> they're barely there already you got what you got i got what <laughs> i got you know what i mean i don't really it's like okay fine i mean i do understand this so <laughs> like, okay <laughs> i mean i guess i you know i gotta depend a little more on my personality like i mean you know what no, I'm gonna maybe do? skin maybe skin yes then I would maybe have that to, would be for yes, you like yes. because that would be your vanity right yes, yes maybe it's more vanity than masculinity yeah Right. It's like the that's the ma male vanity is the balding. So do you think that you would go to Turkey if you did? If I was losing my hair? Yeah. My hair has always been such a part of m me. Yeah. And honestly, I know drag me to hell, but <laughs> a struggle. <laughs> I'm being real. Can I be fucking honest on my own damn podcast? <laughs> It, it truly it has been even like like any like myeongshi or mm -hmm. somewhere i go to mm -hmm. barbershop they are always like what the fuck man that's a lot of hair yes it's like not like oh no much okay it's yeah, like yeah. it's okay it's a lot of we have to cut a lot yeah and like it's strong hair so like they can't do mm, sometimes because it gets like stuck you know like are you serious yeah so they always have to scissor cut which is way more expensive yes so there are struggles to thick, luscious, beautiful, strong hair. But what I'm saying is... I'm the, glad that you're learning to empathize, Peter. <laughs> but I think if <laughs> if I was starting to bald, like if I got a bald spot right yeah. here... A receding hairline. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might transition to like someone who's always... Like, you know Dave Attell's look? Yes. Something Skull like <laughs> No, like, like a skull cap and, and a, a hat. hat. <laughs> Not that exact thing, but like something like oddly, like I clearly am not showing my hair, but I'm doing something like a choice because that's I don't know what choice that is, <laughs> what Dave's doing, yeah. but it's a specific choice. Like even if you saw an outline of that, yeah, that's Dave Attell. Yes, you know he's so like obvious. So you do like something like that. You do like, like a like a scarf and. Beret. <laughs> uh, a beret? Um, I don't know. I, I have a big face, right? So, like, I don't know what kind. It would have to be a big hat. 
or like a big headpiece. You know what I mean? <laughs> or here's what. Like, look at my hair now, right? So I'm trying to get to a point where like... A big headpiece. Headpiece is crazy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Like something that like <laughs> identify. We're talking about identity, yeah. right? Like something that identifies me that's like, some, you know, whatever. Anyway, but like if I grow my hair out to this length and kept it that way for a while. Sure. Then if I lose my hair, I could just get a wig made that's like looks like my hair so you would you wouldn't go to turkey but you would still disguise it in some way i think i, I wouldn't like walk around bald i just don't have the face for bald i really don't look sure. at my face <laughs> 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 now imagine like a head piece <laughs> <laughs> the fact that he's <laughs> something to distract you know from my <laughs> from, from what? The head, from the face. So, so you're gonna have something even bigger? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> Nothing to see here, folks. No, but I don't think I could wear a bald. Is what I'm saying. I that's where I sympathize yeah, with yeah. my friends who are balding. Is that I just don't think I have to look. There are some guys who look really good. Like, uh, okay, like remember um, Stephen Yeun and Beef. Yes. He wasn't bald, but he was like, um, he was like almost like, you know, whatever. Down I like to, that. Yeah. yeah. And like, you could see that that's a head that could yeah. pull that off. Yes. My head cannot pull off bald. I don't think your head can either. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't think so either. But I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> Believe in me, Peter. <laughs> Anji, you you bald? Oh no! I mean, I have such a flat face, and then like this is like I mean, I I think I have like a uh, um a rectangular like it'd be tough. Yeah, 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 that's not good bald. Not good bald. You have to kind of have like um like a thumb or like a yes yeah, yeah. like like a perfect. You, you, I mean, this thing is like you kind of already need to be attractive. Well, I guess I'm fucked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, what, I mean, maybe you, maybe you could get those like big black teeth. That's what would distract. That's what I need. I need to get that free veneer, baby. Whoever's giving out free veneers, I hit mean, me up. It was crazy at the roast. How many of these like veneers were going on? Right. It was like, I mean, are they giving them away? Like, what is happening? I don't know, but they're doing them too big. Everyone needs to whatever size that your dentist is telling you. Ask for like the size below it. Yes, it's like, like truly, everyone's it's, getting it's, too it's, big. It's the new breast implant. It's yes. like the people. It, everyone's yeah, getting them too is. big. Everyone's getting them too big. They're 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 a not smaller CC. Sm sm yeah, get us smaller CCs. Yeah, let's be modest. Modest. Yeah. Also, it's not realistic. It looks crazy. You look AI. Yeah, you look like you look stupid. Like you're like yeah, like I mean, no one's smiling like that all the time. Also, another thing with this uh, roast, retard is back. Fully back, Fully and so back. is fag. No. They, he said fag, remember? But that doesn't mean it's back. Oh. Well, how is retard back? <laughs> <laughs> they said it. But but retard was back like multiple times. It was said multiple times. I don't know. We might have to bleep it out of this. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but I don't know. For me, the... Uh, the you want it to be back. What? Retard. But you don't I, want I, back I, I to don't be want back? It. I, don't, I don't desire anything because it already is back. Okay, I disagree. <laughs> Agree to disagree. I mean, the Epsler thing was kind of to me crazy that they aired it and didn't bleep it out. They didn't bleep out anything. Yeah, I know. Well, that's the stance, and that's the stance, and <laughs> we're moving on. Okay, so who else did we see? Tom Segura and Bert Kreischer. Bert looks so tan. That he, that's not tan. He was drunk. No, he was red from being drunk. He was okay. It looked to me, in my opinion, yeah. he looked blasted. He looked crazy blasted. He was like screaming and jittering. But that's how he is. Because he's blasted all the time. I think that's part of his persona that he was like amping up. You don't think it's induced? You thought Bert was wasted. Yeah. I just, have you ever watched Two Bears? No. Well, clips. Yeah. So he is like that. Okay. 
he is sometimes very drunk. So during his roast on uh, OF TV, mm-hmm. he was like that. And apparently he was really wasted. Okay. So it's like kind of like a seamless kind of thing. I don't know how wasted or not wasted he was, mm-hmm. but he is kind of always like that, though. Yeah. Yeah. That red, that okay. laughing. That so what did you th- think? Did you like it? Um, I thought PowerPoint comedy at a roast was a strange choice. Yeah, and then dig, the whole thing about like he's a psycho. I don't know. It was a hard. It was a hard sell. Yeah, I don't know if I bought it. I'm waiting for it to be on bargain. It's a bargain sale. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It gotta be on clearance. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I thought it was interesting, especially given how. R- so Bird, I can see not being particularly roasty, but Segura is very roasty. Mm-hmm. Like he can do that, and that is sort of his humor. Yeah, I, I was just surprised that they would go in this sort of more conceptual direction. Yeah, I guess I don't watch their podcast. Is this what they do? Like um, no. PowerPoint stuff? No, that's what I mean. It weird, was a strange weird, um, departure. Yeah. And that's also one of the I wonder whose that, choice that was. I, I don't. I mean, also, it was a, a departure for me <laughs> to even see them in this space. In the roast space? Like Netflix traditional media. Because. They're all over Netflix. In what? They're specials. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, the as as two bears. As that's a how duo. they were. Yes. Oh. As a podcast. Yeah. Because they are really oh, that's huge. Oh, very interesting. In the podcast space. Hinchcliffe as well. Like, yes. it was to me a strange invi- entree. It was almost Netflix, like, categorizing them as podcasters. Yes. Is, but they was are. Was that intentional? I don't. I mean, they were invited as opposed to, to comics. But they were together, so that's the podcast. That's what I mean. Yeah. Why were they put together? I wonder. Maybe the they're stronger huge. together. I mean, that's a huge part of their identity and brand. They are together. Okay, let me ask you this: If we were invited, yeah, to do the next Netflix roast, oh, okay, uh huh. Um, let's say it was I don't know, um, Luther Vandross. Ah! <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> we're bringing him oh, back. Is he, yeah, yeah. Is he dead? Okay. Yeah, we're bringing know. him back Oops. to roast yes, him again. Yes. <laughs> Uh, no, Timothy Chalamet. Okay, yeah. Um, Timothy. And they were like, we want, we would love for you to both come. You're oh, so great. Funny. Yeah, yeah, of course. But you can only come as two Kims. Okay. Would you be into it? Of course. <laughs> you wouldn't? <laughs> no, I would, I'm not saying I wouldn't. But I'm just <laughs> saying like, as opposed to going as Unji Kim. I, I don't, I, listen, I don't care how... I don't care how you get here. Just get here. Get here. If you can. (laughs) (laughs) You could go by aeroplane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. (laughs) You know what I mean? I don't. There's no. I mean, I will also say the two of them and that space and the the space they've carved for themselves inside of the podcasting world. There's no shade in that. That is absolutely an ascension. An ascension. And there's absolutely nobody doing it like them on a scale. Yeah. And yeah, absolutely. I don't think I, I don't think it was a big deal. I just thought it was interesting. I, I've never seen them introduce or package in this way mm-hmm. on sort of mainstream media. I want I, I maybe I was wanting for them to be like a little roastier. Absolutely. Just because, in general. Absolutely. That's why I was surprised yeah. because Segura is sort of a roasty guy. Do they roast each other on the podcast? Absolutely. All the time. I wanted more of that. Yeah. Maybe just their dynamic. I didn't think they like. Did their like Batman and Robin? That's what thing I mean. I, 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 maybe it's because they have never done, done this yeah. together. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. You know, well, Netflix <laughs> took a swing <laughs> <laughs> to continue the sports metaphor. Okay. So who was who was next after them? Um, Sam J. Sam J. Strong set. Great set. Great set. It was um, really good. Yeah. Got sexual at the end. Yes. Uh, Nikki did that too. Absolutely. Interesting that only two women on the dais, and they both got sexual. So did Ron Burgundy. Yes, that's true. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's a huge part of roast culture. Yeah. Is that it gets sexual, yeah. that it's dirty. sort of dirty. Um, I can't, I don't, even back in the day, like the Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin stuff, mm-hmm. they did that stuff all the time. Yeah. But I mean, it was much more homophobic, but you know, the still same sort of. Yeah. Roasting, and it used to just be men. So, mm-hmm. 
super gay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, and then Andrew Schultz went up. Yes. Um, he did great, I thought. He did good, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought he did, he did strong. Very strong. Some deep cuts. Yes. Some, uh, he was being naughty. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Strange haircut. He's going for some kind of like World War One throwback thing. I don't know what's yeah, happening. Yeah, I, I was like kind of like what like Derek first Reich? Yeah, what di- Derek type of your ancestors are you trying to emulate here? Is he German? I, I think so, Schultz. Oh, you can imagine. Okay, maybe he is. But um, you know, like it's he looks like maybe it's a, like Weimar Republic. Yeah, maybe. Feeling. Yeah, yeah. yeah like okay. yeah, let's go back. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> Austro Hungary. Yeah, yeah. Like we could go way back. Holy <laughs> Roman Empire. <laughs> yeah, I mean it was um I th- I was I was very interested in um his takes were good. I, another podcaster. <laughs> another podcaster. But he was alone. He didn't bring like his squad or but I guess he's not a duo podcast. No. So yeah. Um I mean who isn't what big comic isn't doing a podcast, I guess. Like of those people, Sam J. No Does podcast. a podcast? No. no. Nikki? She's the a serious radio show. XM? Yeah, yeah. Podcast, whatever. Um, but that's not... Uh, that's not the empire of the yes. podcast. Yeah, I get that. Um, that's, I feel like... Because, I mean, not to take away, Schultz tours a ton. He's doing Madison Square Garden, mm-hmm. all the things. Uh, I think Bert only does, like, arenas at this point, you know? Um, Sounds like an amazing way to watch comedy. Yeah. <laughs> You just really, um, yeah, I hate tight spaces <laughs> where you can really feel the laughs ricocheting off the walls. I just want to be in a hum of laugh. <laughs> I want to be in this. I mean, it is strange because so much of the roast brings the craft back. Because mm. these are what we're naming our huge acts. Nikki's doing huge. I mean, I think she's probably doing the United Center. I mean, or really large theaters, mm-hmm. right? Um, huge, huge comics, mm-hmm. arena comics. Mm-hmm. But and this uh, happened at the Kia Forum. Yeah, that's an arena. <laughs> an arena. But when you're watching it on a screen, there is something so fundamentally comedy about it it still needs to be the joke it still needs to like something about it remains so intimate because of the screen because of the tight Mm -hmm. and so you know i i'd imagine some of the reason why they picked the people that they picked is because these are all people that are accustomed to arena Mm. comedy Mm. yeah you know and and the biggest comics are the arena comics yes i mean and but to me the, we, the people that really stood out to us were the people that don't do that as consistently. Yeah, for sure. Because they, there's something about the roast and the nature of it. It's just, I mean, so the people that we really like, Schultz was being naughty. He was good, but he it was just his style, which is more relaxed. It's kind of like jabby, acerbic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sam J, very relaxed, mm-hmm. right? Same sort of thing. Very funny, but also uh, her personality. But it's like a little more low key. It's a little more. Her vibe is different. Yeah. Nikki is machine gun. That's what I like. Yes. In a roast setting, you need that. I want a rhythm. Ah ha ha. Yeah, that's what I like. And maybe that's like the spectrum part of me that's like, I don't know. No, because in a roast, it's just jokes. It's just, yeah. I mean, you can do be a little conceptual. But they were all jokes. They were just not the same rhythm. They were... Some of them were a little more expansive, set up y versus yeah. the one liners. Yeah. And we like the one liners. Especially in a, in a in roast. In a roast. Yeah. Because you act, when you're tearing That's someone down. That's the sport. I want to see the yes. sport. Yeah. Absolutely. Because with a roast, you don't want to know, you don't, you already know the person. Mm-hmm. So it's just about name the thing, tear them down. Yeah. Name the thing and tear it down. Because any other exposition is distracting from the takedown. Right. Yours, it's, um, yeah. So I, I think. Even Jeff Ross, who was like, fine, but like, that's the rhythm I'm used to. So like, I'm lulled by that. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, he's, 
setting up the template for how it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. And then you watch everyone else do their thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ben Affleck. We watched Ben Affleck. Oh, my God. Okay, was... we got to go to back. But put a, so, Nikki, rhythm. Tony was firing, firing, firing. 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 And it was – he did it much more quickly, and it was much more rapid fire because I could – I would argue that the – he needed to do that in order to sustain that rhythm. To walk. To walk. Yeah. And to sustain the laugh because it's some of – the humor was in the way that he was delivering. Wasn't it crazy? No one roasted Tom Segura. Not we didn't hear one roast about him. What What do you think it is? I don't know. There what are, are you speculating? I either of two things. Okay. One, they um, are scared of him. Or two, they don't feel like he would react well. That's both, that's both, not, of that, the, both of those are same thing. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, yeah, maybe that's it. That he might not react well. You don't think he has a sense of humor? I don't. It's not. I would. Yeah, yeah. I would roast him. Yeah. I would. I would want to roast all the comedians. Of course. But no one roasted him. That was weird. Yeah. I mean, no one really roasted. So people started coming for Nikki a little bit at the end. A lot of people came from Nikki. A lot of like, you know, yeah, baseline like bad vagina jokes. For sure, but for sure. like still, that's be still being seen. You're included. Imagine you were a comic up there and no one made fun of you. I would be mad. I would be humiliated. I would Talk be about hum Cookie. I'd yes. be like, I would be humiliated. Humiliated. I would do something. I would be like, oh, you so that the people would say something about me. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. I would like do the splits. And, I, like, would. I, I would do the splits. I would not be denied. I would not be denied. <laughs> <laughs> I would do the splits and I would like fart on stage or something yeah. like that. And yeah. I would be scream. something very, yeah, scream, fall, yeah. something. I, yeah, I felt bad. You think it was being excluded? It seemed like it. We watched all the comedians roast. Yes. No one roasted him. Kevin Hart got roasted. A lot. A lot. He was the host. Yeah. Jeff Ross about his looks. Crazy and like young lady oh, stuff. Shit. His affinity for young ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fresh fish. Um, Nikki, obviously. Schultz, a little no bit. No one gave her Sam J. Oh, Sam J. Also, mm -hmm. Sam J. And Tom. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, uh, Hinchcliffe did, but is the only one that did. What did Hinchcliffe say about? Oh hell no. Nah. Oh, that's great. Okay, yeah. yeah. And but that, it's not almost that, a roast of. It's Sam J. It's yeah. a it's a black joke. yeah yeah, um, but that's it. But I mean, did but, he do something about Tom? No. Or Bert? Did ton about Bert? Ton about Bert. Yes. No Tom. I mean, also Bert is much more of a identifiably, like roastable person. Because he's so messy. Because he's so messy. There's so many like uh, brand identifiers on him. The shirt, the laughing, the drinking. Like there's the one joke. Yes, yeah. all these things. About him. Yeah. Whereas with Segura, he's a hard weekend comedian. <laughs> like, kind of did it all. And it's, you know. Like, you can't really come for him. Yeah, I mean. But, like. He's his, uncomfortable. But it's because of his brand identifiers aren't like that. Like, he roasts Bert. That is almost his. Right, but yeah. couldn't you say something about like how codependent they are with each other, or how out of touch he is because he's gotten so rich, or Maybe, anything? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, that's true. Yeah, no one did anything about him. Not that's one true. thing that he he's lucky he has a wife that's more talented than him. I don't know something like that. You know, like any yeah, type yeah. of like even cursory ancillary like one off joke for him. Like. I mean, no one even talked about the fact. Have you ever seen the video of him like fucking up his arm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Crazy. I know stuff like that. Yeah. Or like how much weight he lo lo weight he yeah. lost, so he's like infinitely less funny now. Or like <laughs> whatever, something like that. Like it, there was no bone thrown. I would. I'm just feel. I would feel uh, left out. I would feel Unless FOMO. Maybe he's maybe he's Scientology now. Illuminati. What? Like he can't come for him because like of the power behind him or something. Oh my god, that's so insane! It's insane. 
No, that's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> anyway, so let's wrap this up. What was your favorite joke of the night? Um, I would say uh, my favorite joke of the night. I don't know. What was yours? I mean, the hell no. And on the pussy was yeah. so stupid. It was funny. Like, I would have, like, guffawed. Yes. I, like, like that kind of, like, dumbassery. Um, although that's the, not a joke I would say. Oh, absolutely. And um, also the Ron Burgundy stuff was great. I oh, would, Ron Burgundy was great. Yes. We forgot to talk about yes. it. Yeah. He was very in the pocket, present in the moment, impro- improvisational. Yes. I would say he would be in, in the top But four. I'm sure it didn't really play in the arena. You know what I mean? Mm. Up close, the people that could see and like all that stuff. On the screen. On the screen. Yeah. But it's hard. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that he would for me was up there. And also um, the run that Tony had where he's talking about um, the rings, uh, doctor, that you have a kidney. It was for Bert. It was like. Oh, the Burger King. Yes. With the the, Ronnie but my King beat him up. Yeah. yeah that, like that, that run. Fun. That was yeah. fun. That was, really fun. I, that was just like to me like cap, 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 cap. Mm-hmm. And a way that was um very good roasting. Mm-hmm. And for me, it was that and um, literally anything that Nikki said. But before we leave, we do have to talk about Ben Affleck's meltdown. Ouch. Let me just say this. Ben Affleck went up on stage and fully roasted online hate comments and repeatedly referred to his own vilification online yes. was like, well, I know a little thing too about criticism. Listen, buddy, if you have, okay, let's just put this out there. If you have over $5 million, you cannot complain about online comments. You need to find some peace in yourself and fucking deal with it. Or take the $5 million, hire someone for $60,000 a year, to run your social media. Get Girl, off. get off. Get off. Get off. <laughs> Log off. Log off. And also, who? what is he talking about? Am I? Did I miss something? Is it about the J-Lo thing? Like, what's he getting dragged for? He mentioned um, Justice League at the end. I was like, is this about Justice League? From 10 years? Yeah. <laughs> like, is this about that about? movie doing bad? I mean, it's like, like what one you... of those things that are like, how about this? You pay someone $60,000 a year to tell you to get a fucking grip. (laughs) (laughs) I'll do it. I'll do it for 50. I'll I'll do it for 55. So, you know, I'll be better at it. (laughs) She's worth more. She's a mother of two. She needs it. I I do. And it's just like, are you fucking kidding? It's like, just get a fucking grip. Justice League? And the way they responded to him afterwards, like when Kevin Hart came up, was like, (laughs) <laughs> this white boy, more white boy humor. <laughs> that was probably the funniest thing he said. Yeah. Um, it was so in the moment, and like um, Jeff who, Ross being like, "This is a weird time we we sh- we had to co- time for commercial break." Yeah, <laughs> just makes me think like, did he did they add him last minute or something like that? Like he was like, "Let me just come on and do like five minute rant or something." Like what the I fuck? Mean, also, this why would they not write him something? I'm sure he said he could handle it, and they believed him. Because if you imagine that it's bad. They were like, if you could handle J-Lo, you could handle this. No, I don't think that. <laughs> I'm thinking they, they're probably like, oh, you wrote Argo. <laughs> Did he? <laughs> you know, there are rumors. Oh, really? Even about, um, there are rumors about a Goodwill Hunting. Did you hear about this? That it was. Is this Patreon only stuff? Oh, let's save it for the Patreon. <laughs> See you there. Bye. <laughs>